When I take a shower, I keep a bucket in there and it catches all the excess water from me. At the end of the week, when I'm ready to flush the toilet, I take that water and pour it directly into the toilet and that's what causes the toilet to flush. That way I'm not wasting any water. Uh, yeah, this is where it gets gross. This is where you just try to be ridiculous and try to save money. What's going on? It's me, Jacob, here to do another video. This one's going to be a extreme cheapskates video. This guy goes on the cheapest date. He's an extreme cheapskate. It's not that he's poor or anything. He obviously has some kind of money. It's just he's really silly with the money because he's going to go out on a date. I don't know how it's going to go. I want to check this video out. It, it looks hilarious. So let's just, just get right into it, okay? And if you're new to the channel, definitely hit that subscribe button, leave a like, do all those beautiful things to make the channel grow. I really appreciate all the support you guys are giving me. Thank you guys so much. Let's just get right into this video. My name's Greg Ensko. I'm 29 years old. I've lived in Cincinnati, Ohio all my life. I'm a Zumba dance instructor, and I'm an extreme cheapskate. All right, so we got we got Greg here. He's uh, 29. He's a, a Zumba dance instructor. So he's got a job. He's not homeless. So we're not going to rip on him here for being poor. We're just going to rip on him for making uh, silly, silly ass decisions with his money. So obviously he has a job and a car and his his shirt looks pretty, uh, pretty new. Maybe maybe he got it for the show, but let's see uh, let's see the silly ass decisions he makes with his his money here. I'll do a clinical study anytime I can because those pay really good money. I really wanted to buy this low rider and I had to get thirty five hundred dollars somehow. I got really okay. lucky. The clinical study that I found online was paying the same amount. I had to put uh, ointment in my butt, but I got a car out of uh, it, so it was well worth it. Oh uh, yeah, so. Clinical study, maybe. I don't know if I trust doing anything with my body to science like that. And no butt stuff. Mm -mm. I'll do anything to make a buck. He will do anything to make a buck. You just use the window squeegees, and you can really wash your whole car with it. I don't know who would spend money on a car wash when you can wash it yourself right here. Anyone, anyone that has ever tried that already knows that does not work. Hi, welcome to my condo. I got pretty lucky. One of the ladies from Zumba said, hey, my grandpa just passed away if you wanna live in our condo for free. In return, I'm supposed to mow her lawn, but you know, you can't beat free rent. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, that's fair. Anyone, anyone who can get, uh, get free rent, get a free condo, for just mowing a yard, take it. Take it. That's good deal. That's not even being a cheapskate. Uh, this is all from when the guy passed away. He left it all here. I didn't have any furniture. It worked and it's out a nice. Furnished condo. These are my roommates. We got Raj and Kevin here. It's painful bringing women back to the apartment because <laughs> it's. It's painful bringing women back to this place. Furniture, it's everything. It's embarrassing. This place definitely smells like old people. I don't know how much Greg pays for the apartment, but I do know that Kevin and I pay a pretty fair amount. It's a large. What he he just got done saying, I have a free condo if all I do is mow the yard. And he's charging his friends rent. Those aren't friends. He's not a friend. Anyone out there that has a friend like that is a shady friend. That's your landlord. Those are tenants. That's, he's got free condo and he's charging them a pretty fair amount. That's the kind of person. Large three bedroom condo, so I knew I'd be able to take my roommates with me and uh, charge them rent even though I'm living for free. This is the kitchen. Um, That's the kind of person right, where do we you are. Get? There's no point in paying for anything you that you should get for free in life. I never just, spend money on condiments. Anytime you go to a restaurant, condiments. just take extra when you're just there. Just take it all. Just take, just take, take all the condiments. 
he's the reason why I can't get extra sauces at McDonald's. That that's the guy. That's the guy who screwed it up for all of us. I would never pay for paper plates or any kind of plate, really. I got lucky. I got these from my uh, my nephew's birthday party. Just just took these from my nephew's birthday party. Just 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 take it from children. You know, he wouldn't enjoy having these extra plates with uh, animals on them. Nope. Just just take it from him and steal some condiments on the way out. To save money on cups, um, I actually reuse yogurt cups. I got this uh, from my grandma. This way. Yeah, this is where it gets gross. This is where you just try to be ridiculous and try to save money and not realize they have like cups like for 25 cents or 50 cents at Walmart for reals. Like, uh, we just reuse yogurt and we just put our names on them. Look at this. Way they're all labeled. Everybody many, knows whose cups who. How many people have their but names on? If we get a guest, these. I actually give them the big cup, so uh, it makes them feel special. Uh, I don't put them in the dishwasher because the dishwasher wastes way too much money on electric and water. So I just hand wash them in the sink. There's no point in having a. I don't even use the dishwasher. I wash them out with my fingers in the sink. <laughs> bulb inside a refrigerator. I took the bulb out of the refrigerator. It saves me almost forty dollars a year in electric. Uh, this is my closet. No, no, it doesn't. When I go shopping. I always no. leave the tags on the shirt because you never know if it's going to go out of style. So always keep the tags, and you can just return them later. I paid for them. It's not stealing if you pay for it. I'm living the dream. It's not stealing if you pay for it. Nobody wants to wear your recycled old clothes. You just work out in and just just smell bad in all the time. Nobody wants that shirt. I still got the tag on it. Nobody wants it. It's just got just some oil stains and ice cream fell on it. As soon as I'm done living the dream, I just return it. Biggest money saver in the whole condo is right here in the bathroom. Greg thinks that he lives no. pretty much. Most other people would probably think so too. The biggest money saver in the condo is in the bathroom. No, it's you charging that guy and your other friend rent for the free place is the biggest money in the in the condo. But let's see what you do in your bathroom. Too, until they get to know him. He takes showers with his clothes on. By washing my clothes in the shower Why? with me, uh, I'm saving at least $15 a month because I don't have to use a washer, Why? a dryer. That doesn't get you clean. That doesn't get you clean. Soap. When I take a shower, I keep a bucket in there and it catches all the excess water from me. At the end of the week, when I'm ready to flush the toilet, I take that water and pour it directly into the toilet and that's what causes the toilet to flush. That way I'm not wasting any water. Why? I like Why? going on free work. internet. That's not how you save money. You don't, all right, shower with your clothes on that you're going to still return to the store so you can wash your body and your clothes and collect all of that water and use it to flush your toilet, whatever, whatever he said a week. I think he said once a week, which is no, that's, that's not how it works. It's not how, it's not how it works. At dating sites, works. by far the best part about online dating is you don't have to spend money on dinner and drinks and uh, wasting gas, going places, meeting people. Just get online and uh, it's free. How does online dating work for him? It's not. It's not. You don't have to waste your money on gas and dinners. This girl's kind of hot. Uh, she likes fancy restaurants and traveling. <laughs> Next. Next. Here's one. She likes she shopping likes fancy restaurants and, and tasting. traveling. <laughs> That's way too expensive. Easy going, homebody. Where's the Netflix cook. and chill? Oh, she likes Where's camping. Her? Oh, and she oh, likes camping. long walks. Long walks are free. Long walks. Long walks are I free. I like this one. Hi, is Brandy there? Yeah, that's a car. Camping can be hey, expensive. Hey, um, right? I saw your ad on Camping can be free actually. too if you do it with this uh, guy. You look kind of cute. He'd be the worst guy to go I'm really looking forward with. to meeting Brandy because uh, we both met on a free dating site. Do you want to go out tomorrow? I'm assuming and hoping that she is a cheapskate as well. I'll email you the address of the no. place, okay? Okay. No. All right, talk to you later. All right, thanks. Bye. Bye. 
so I saw your ad online and thought you were cute. For real, don't 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 ever call it an ad. I don't know how that worked out for him. Don't ever call it an ad. I'm taking Brandy to a barbecue restaurant. Are you real hungry? How hungry are you? Starving or nothing. Oh, so like you want to like share a meal maybe? Yeah, we can do that. <laughs> okay. Did you see the kids menu? Do you want to do you want to like share a meal? Do you, do you see the kids menu? No. Why would you do that? Why would you do that on a date? Do you want to like split a kids menu? Everything, mm. just flip it over to the other side. And it's only 4.95. All right, let's see. We could get it's a veggie plate that's only 550. Or you could get the uh, sweet and sour hot sauce for only 295. I've learned that Greg or you could just get doesn't some, like, like spend lots of money. Sauce or whatever There's nothing wrong with it. Just what? it's different. Yeah, he's Have you all just made the different. choice? Uh, Would you like to order? Yes, yes, I think we're ready. Uh, um, thing, I'm just Sorry. gonna take the pulled pork sandwich. All right, that's pretty. Pulled Can I get a pulled pork sandwich? You should have seen his face. Like she's asking him if she can get the pulled pork. Like. Sorry, I don't want to get a kid's meal. Hot sandwich for you? Here, right. It's very good. Like, oh, is that pretty good like size? One adult sandwich, sandwich, please. It's a nice portion. Uh, like big enough for two, probably? Just depends probably. how hungry you are. Big enough for two? Pro probably. P probably, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bring, okay, two. You're right. not real hungry, right? Nah. Okay, perfect. Also, you're, you're can we get a rib? hungry, though, right? Okay, you'd like uh, a rack of ribs? No, just like one rib. Oh. It, the, the rack is like kind of expensive. And I didn't know if she would like it, so I thought I just maybe we'd just get one, one rib. Okay, so you'd like one rib. Yep. Right on. One out of. One out of ribs. No, 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 no. One rib. One rib. I sure am hungry. Uh, make that one rib to go. One rib? One rib. Most guys, when they ask girls to go on dates, they really want to impress or show off. And so it's just, it was different to see him really not care. It was a little weird. Here's your food. Pulled Thank pork you. sandwich Bye. with a side of mac and cheese. That looks good. Thank you. And here's your one rib. Oh. Here's your one rib. Why? Why? All right. Thank you. Did you want to try some of this? Um, no, it's okay. It's you sure? Would you yes. like to try some There's of this? A lot there. That's really good though. Nope. Yeah. That's not, would well, you want some uh, even there. macaroni? Oh yeah, actually, I would love some macaroni. Good. Maybe a little bit of pork too. Yeah. Well, we'll just do about half. Then. Can I? Is that okay. Can okay. I have okay. half of oh, all of your nice. food? You. So, what else do you do besides save cups and utensils? What else? Uh, at my condo, like to save money on water, we only flush once a week, and I save like thirty dollars a month. Why do you say why do you say that on a date? She's like, what else do you like to do? I like to watch movies. Or oh, what else do I like to do to save money? Oh. I like to shower with my clothes on. Oops, sorry, that goes into his his weird ass category. You could have said a bunch of other things though, like I cut coupons, I recycle. Nice thing. I flush a toilet once a week. It's never, never, never say that on a date. Easily. Hmm. So you guys go to the bathroom the whole week and you don't flush. That's pretty disgusting. You come over, I'll let you flush. Once. There's three guys in there all week long shitting into a toilet. She's never coming over there, bro. Just go home. If that's how he wants to live his life, it's good for him. Just too extreme for me. I would never do it. Here are all the things you asked for. Oh, thank you. Let me know if anything else you need. OK, thank you. Can sure. I get extra bags, extra cups, oh, extra plate. napkins, extra plates? I'm going to take the plate home with me, too. I don't like to waste food. Are you you got any food? extra hot sauce, oh, yeah, and extra absolutely. ketchup, and extra everything. Right, perfect. Remember, I'm a paying customer. All I bought one rib. All these bottles of hot sauce at the table. 
Are they are they for to go? True. Oh, don't forget your to go yep. cup. Yep. Don't don't forget your to go cup. Greg is a very sweet guy. I don't funny, even have cups at my house. A little cheap, but nice guy overall. Right. Thank you for taking me out. I want a girl like me for me. Well, I had a lot of fun tonight. Would you want to go out again sometime? Yeah, I did. I had a good time. Thank you. Even though he's a little cheap, I could look past that. And definitely, he's a really sweet guy, so I would definitely go out. No, you, he's like, I want a girl that likes me for me. I've seen these cheapskate episodes. The girls are like him. Trust me, he doesn't want that. Greg again. Hi. <laughs> If somebody doesn't like you for who you are, then you shouldn't be with them. Wow, what did we learn from that episode? You know, well, thank you for sticking here to the end. That was pretty, uh, pretty weird. I, I, I don't think I would ever take it to that extreme. What we, what we learned from that episode is. You know, if you want to save money, you can shower with your clothes on, flush once a week, return set clothes after you're done using them. When you go to a restaurant, order off the kids menu or try to order one rib if possible and charge your roommates half the rent and make sure there's two of them paying all of your rent. And that's how you do it, you know, I guess, if you want to be a shitty... Oh, yeah, don't forget, steal condiments, take kids' stuff, you know, from their birthday parties and keep it, and be a shitty person, you know, whatever, whatever, you know. That was, that was, that was pretty, uh, pretty weird. But I do appreciate you guys sticking here to the end of the video. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, definitely hit that subscribe button and do all those beautiful things and make this channel grow. I really do appreciate the support. Thank you guys so much. See you at the next video.